Welcome back to the channel. So I went to uh, Matchbox Con or Matchbox Convention. Uh, it was pretty small. It was in like a 4-H area. It was okay size. They had a lot of stuff because Hot Wheels don't take up much room. So I did grab a couple things. I wanted to grab like an older on-card Hot Wheels. And I thought this thing was pretty cool. And it was pretty cheap. I think it was a dollar or two dollars. But I wanted to grab something that was a little older. Of course, they had plenty of cars that were older. Some cars were kind of yellowed up. Uh, he had a cool like Captain America older car, but it was super yellowed and uh, more than two bucks. So skipped it. I think this is a 90s car. This is a Track Racers roll cage. So I'm going to leave this guy on card. I know he's probably not worth anything. I just wanted to get like an older card that I don't have versus the current stuff. So this is a 2003 Track Aces. So this is the only on-card one that I bought for myself. And then I got some loose ones that were in like bins that were like two for one or one dollar, so on and so on. So I did find some cool Super Arrow ones. Like this Bane, I thought it was really cool. And in good condition. No real like scratches or anything on the paint. Got that nice, bright, colorful Bane. You can definitely tell who it is. There's Bane on the back. The Hot Wheels there. So this is, I thought, a really cool car. So got the Bane one right there. Oh, also got another really cool car. House of the Dead. Kind of like a Dragula type car. Got the zombies on there. Uh, this is, I don't think it is, a, yep, it is a Hot Wheels. So I've never seen this one before. Wheels are a little loose there, looks like. And the paint is kind of dull. I don't know if it's supposed to be matte black and matte green. Uh, maybe so, but it does look good. So I think this is the first thing I saw that I grabbed at the at the con. So, do like House of the Dead. It's a fun game. So And this is, looks like it's, Maybe three. They're all fun. House of the Dead. Hot Wheels I thought was cool. They also had... This one's hard to see. Like, it's hard to see who that is. And you really kind of can't tell. <laughs> you can, you can't. So even... Like, yeah, you can kind of see the Juggernaut's helmet there. The top one's real faded out. It does say Juggernaut on the back. So, and it's a pretty cool car. A little beat up. Or maybe a little bit used. Got the scratches on the back there. But you can't tell it's Juggernaut. I like the red wheels. I like the white and red. Uh, this is scratched up a little bit. But being a Juggernaut car, I was like, I gotta get that. So, the last superhero one I found. So, I think I do have this on, I do have this on card, but it was cool to see and it was cheap. I grabbed another Spider Woman Hot Wheel. So I was looking for the superhero cars for cheap and I did find a couple, so I was happy about that. So this is a duplicate, but I think it was worth it. And we have um, like a 70s The Fuzz car here. So this this one or this one I picked up first. I'm not I can't remember, but you got like a seventies paint job on the front. Is that paint job of the car on the car? That's that's good. Got the fuzz back here. So kinda like a star skin hutch kind of thing. Well, we can see what it says there. It's glaring pretty good. But it's a muscle car. It looks cool. It's in really good shape as well. It's got the clear windows we can see in, which I like. So that's the fuzz. And the last one I got, really no particular order, last one I'm going to show. This here, it's cool Hot Wheels. Black and white with a red tint on the windows. It's called the Governor. You can see that, but this is a cool looking car. So definitely uh, got that Batmobile kind of feel to it. 
this big white wall stand out against the black and the dark red is nice nice touch on the windows so I, I can't even tell you my favorite out of these I don't think uh, I do like this one a lot um, I lean towards the Bane because the picture is so easy to see it's in such good condition I also did it's more like a unique thing for me to find I'm sure it's not because it was like in a common box but I haven't seen it oh, it's cool juggernaut I haven't seen before uh, the fuzz is kind of unique to me it's a cooler car I don't really don't know um, Maybe the Bane. So and this is a good color scheme, I think, with the gold wheels. But like I said, I just wanted to get an older O3 car, and this was like the coolest one I I, I saw for cheap. Um, so what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cars. Probably cost me twenty bucks. And then uh, yeah. And RER got some as well. You may see some on his channel some sometime. So if you got a MatchCon near you, if you're a Hot Wheels fan, because it's more than just Matchbox, they have everything. Some Jada, Matchbox, Johnny Lightnings, you know, all that stuff. Go check it out. It was a fun time. I think it was like less than 20 bucks to get in. So was it worth the price experience-wise? And I did get some, some stuff I liked. So for me, it was. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe. Thanks.